What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of the Montreal Canadiens franchise series here on the channel. I think we're on episode 5 now. We just lost to the Tampa Bay Lightning in 7 games. Very cruel way to lose. But, um, yeah, that's how we ended in the last episode. I haven't simulated to the draft yet. I just sent my scouts uh, to go basically uh, scout some of the guys that are around our area. Uh, in which we're going to be drafting, which should be around 18 to 22 or something, something around that. Uh, and then, yeah, I've definitely uh, done some of my scouting assignments for that. So we're just going to click here to simulate to the draft. So I'm just going to do uh, continue for that. I don't really care about the about the lines now so Victor Mete has accepted though if you guys remember in the last episode we had sent Victor Mete a contract offer I think it was for three years at 1.6 so he accepted 79 overall so it's very nice to see the AHL keep in mind that they're still playing but we're not going to be focusing too much on them Max Freeberg has been injured so I'm just going to say head coach replaced player uh, and then, yeah, we're just going to keep it going. We already sent my scouts there, so I'm just going to continue this. Uh, there's so many injuries here, guys. It's very, very annoying, but uh, let's just keep simulating. So Tampa Bay actually won the Stanley Cup. That's crazy, guys. You know what? I'm going to stop, actually, and I want to show you the playoff tree. So we lost to the eventual Stanley Cup champions. We took them to Game 7. So I think that's a pretty good accomplishment in itself Tampa Bay beat Toronto in seven games and then they beat the Capitals in six games to take their revenge because if you guys remember two years ago the Capitals won against the Tampa Bay Lightning in seven games and then Tampa beats San Jose who it seems like they'll never win a cup in five games that's unfortunately for Sharks fans but yeah that's that if I saw there just really quickly um was Jonathan Durant an 88 if, it, if he is, that's insane, guys. He must have gone up because he was an 86 last time I checked. And when we first started the season, he was an 85. So that's crazy. Domi's still an 86. Gallagher's gone up to an 86, though. So that's incredible. Them playing together has definitely brought the best out of them. Gallagher was an 84 last time I checked. Kalkaniemi an 83. Dano, 82. Tatar, 83. So Tatar's gone down, though. He was an 82. Four at the beginning of the season. Petrie, 86. He has gone up by one. So, Lekkanen, 80. He's gone up by one. Weber, 87. Smith, 81. He's gone down by one. Armia has gone up by one. Uh, Paling has gone down, unfortunately. He was up to an 80. I don't know what happened there, but that's that. Uh, let's see the progress report really quickly. But it's really nice to see that Jonathan Duran has gone better. And he's an 88. So, progress report here. Before we take it to the NHL draft. So Kakaniemi plus 11. Let's see in the system. 19 plus 19 for Legarier. Uh, Josh Brook is a 71. Samuel Oud. McShane Hillis. Caulfield is a 75 now. Norlinder. All these guys. Okay perfect. And Suzuki is up to 76. So that's nice to see. Kid and Primo is actually up to 70 as well. So. Some growth out of our young players, but um, we're not going to be focusing on those young players. We're going to be look focusing on the players that we're going to be drafting now. I think I only lost a third round pick or something. So um, let's just begin the draft here, guys, because this is why you're here. You want to see the draft. So let's actually take a look before I show you the draft, though. Sorry. Uh, let's view the retired players. So Marion Hosa is retired. Chris Kunitz was retired. No, he had already retired in real life. Martin Iran had re has retired. Derek Roy, or Derek Roy, I should say. Franzen, Molson, MacArthur, Gilbert, Gotch. Nate Thompson retired, okay. Uh, and then that's about it. Let's see for goalies. Uh, Layton and Fast, Victor Fast, okay. So that's all right. No one too, too crazy. All these guys have become coaches, all right. Or some of the coaches, sorry, I should say, have retired. So today is a day to conduct pre-draft interviews with prospects to uncover more scouting information. Okay, I didn't even know this was a thing. 
what would you like to do? Go to view draft class. Okay, so you can conduct interviews with some of these guys. All right, so this guy's a gem, Roach. Sawyer Roach, okay. Alexander Holtz is another gem. Uh, we're going to be picking out around, I believe, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, I mean, I don't know too much about these guys. This guy, one, one, one uh, thing, though, so he's not good enough. Leonard McNeil, though. Let's see if we can conduct, interview the player. Let's see. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to interview me before the draft. I'm extremely nervous about the next few days. Let's see. Let's chat about your strengths and weaknesses. I think we should chat about your style of play. Okay, let's just take a look at his strengths and weaknesses. So what does he think? Sure, that works for me. Let's chat about my strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Tell me, what do you consider your greatest strength? Okay. Has to be my shot. I feel like I can nail a shot better than most, and I can put in the net. I can put it I can put in the net from my own net if I wanted to. Okay, I can put it in my end from my own net if I wanted to. Okay. What is his biggest weakness? We need to know both, right? I've been told by others that sometimes my defense is lacking, but I feel I can make it up for it. I can make up for it in other areas okay let's change the subject now let's see his playing style is he a sniper uh what is, can you give me a breakdown on how you play on the ice i'm a strong forward who likes to drive the net uh while wearing down the other team's defenses okay our defenseman i guess our time is up goodbye thank you for the interview i'm hoping okay end the interview all right so this guy's more of like a sniper let's see how Position left wing. I want to see his. Um, he's a 6'3", 214. Okay, so he's a big boy. Kind of a power forward. Uh, another guy. Shoots right. Caden Gooley. Okay, so we can maybe check this guy out. I think he, this guy might be a. Maybe a top four or something. Actually. Let's just take a look at his skills. I'm more than happy to discuss my strengths and weaknesses. Okay, what do you consider your greatest strength? Once again, has to be my shot. Okay, what is his weakness? If he says defense, and that's not a good, <laughs> that's not a good sign. I'm more of a get it to the net and direct line type of player than deacon through the other team. That's not a weakness necessarily. Let's change the topic. Um, let's just take, let's just listen about his personality. Okay, what type of person you are? What is your personality? I have high standards for myself and my team. I want to win at all costs. Okay, that's good. Let's end the interview now. So we've also talked with another player, Caden Gooley. I wonder if he's Brandon Gooley's brother or something. Uh, so that's a very nice, um, it's a pretty nice, I should say, um, little thing here that we have. Cause this is new, right? Uh, Drysdale, Williams, Josh Williams. Okay, this guy Hen oh, Hendrix Lapierre. I know this guy's supposed to be good, so let's interview him. I know he's he's supposed to be a pretty good player in in real life at least. So, uh, tell me about your strengths. I got it has to be a skating. I think I'm a fa I'm faster than most. And okay, you can turn on a dime. That's good. What's his biggest weakness? So physicality is not uh, his go-to thing there. So let's change the subject. Let's take a look at his playing style because I actually want to draft this guy potentially. I think he's a center though. So how ready? How do you think you're ready to play? I'm still a few years away from getting in the inch. I might need more seasoning, but I'm committed to it. Okay, perfect. So. Uh, he is a, basically a long-term project. Estimated time, it's at four years, so he's probably in the 60s. But I think he's either uh, top six, medium top six, or medium elite. That would be clutch if he was. There's another top four medium. And then a medium elite here for Dadanov. Okay. So this guy's another player that would be, it'd be nice to get around the 40th position let's see if we can sort by potential like we did before in nhl 19 let's see if that gives us anything okay so okay what's going on here 
if I go to the top, will it go to, okay, yeah, that's good, that's perfect, okay, so one medium franchise, uh, Alexis Lafreniere, Sai Elite, okay, this Wong guy, Nicholas Wong, two stars, or two lines, uh, so probably not, but he's a player to keep him, keep an eye on, this Turan guy, probably not, uh, this guy, those guys are for sure going to be in the top 10, they won't be available for me, I don't know if that was a player that I'll be looking to get around the 40th position. Uh, Lindell is the 10th. Okay, Rossi. Theo, Theo Rochette. Uh, how good did he do? 47 points. Center. Smaller center, but he might be available for us. Uh, Hendrix Lapierre, like I was saying. Haas. Horton. Okay, Perfetti. And then, yeah, those are the other players that I haven't had the chance to scout them. So, that's a nice little uh, thing that they've given us for NHL 20 where you can actually interview the players. So, let me just give me a second and then we'll, I'll see you at the draft, guys. guys. Alright, guys, welcome to the NHL draft. The Winnipeg Jets, for some reason, have the first overall pick, which is crazy. Uh, I don't know what this stuff is that has the little... This little green thing on the top there, but um, let's just simulate to the first, simulate the first couple picks here. Franchise for Lundin, and he's an 83. Holy crap! Alexis Lafreniere, 80 overall, high lead. He's gonna be coming into our division. Two stud left wingers here. <laughs> That's crazy. Third overall will be Kill Laholma, 79 sniper left wing. So three left wingers in a row. Uh, Grenwall or Grewal, 81 right winger, medium elite, goes to Tampa. Tampa is a Stanley Cup champions, and they freaking get the fourth overall pick. I don't understand that. Uh, Lucas Raymond goes to New Jersey. Actually, let me see where we're picking. Alexander Holtz goes to uh, Minnesota. We're picking. Oh my God, are you kidding me? We're picking 24th. Holy crap! All right. Let me see who's going to be around there. Okay, so we're going to be missing all these guys for sure. Yeah, I can possibly take a chance on this Rochette guy, Theo Rochette. Uh, not Baron, not Justin Barron or Drysdale because I think I'm going to be trading for a second round pick hopefully and pick up this uh dadanov guy medium elite let me see where chicago's at actually how does chicago do i think they finished yeah they didn't do the greatest so you know what i might actually i might actually be looking to trade our first rounder let me see Ivany is supposed to go, yeah, Rudy Ivany is supposed to go 14th. When is uh, Hendrix Lapierre supposed to go? 33. Actually, he's 31, sorry. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to just either go for Hendrix Lapierre or Rochette. Okay, so Rochette was picked, so, and then Gooley was picked as well. Uh, who else did I try and get so this guy I was looking at it said he was possibly a medium lead but he's a top six d or top six forward i should say mcneil foodie uh fernandez so nothing too crazy since then lundell was the last really good player uh let's see if there's anybody available here at the 24th pick hopefully we have someone nice uh top six d medium no thank you baron uh, elite, but only one line. I don't think that's that's gonna be it. Poirier, no. Josh Williams. Pretty decent stats for Josh Williams, though. Okay. What about Hendrix Lapierre? Two. Sixty-one. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go for Hendrix Lapierre, guys. Let's just try Hendrix. Make the pick. Hopefully he's a stud. Sixty-five tops or oh, sixty-one. Sorry top six forward and that's what i thought essentially i knew he was going to be around in the 60s and the top um top six forward so now what we're going to do is um simulate the rest of the round here 
sim to next round so I can see who else was available. So I know that there is a top four right after me, right after my pick. So let's see here. Top four, Drysdale was a top four. Both of these players are already better than Hendricks though. Top four for Schneider, top six, 72. Okay, this guy, this was the other player that I was maybe looking to get. Right winger, I maybe should have gone him because he, we need a little bit of help on the right wing spot, but that's all right. We went with the French Canadian. Hopefully he can turn out to be something. Jeremy Poirier was actually a top four actually, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can trade for some of these guys here. So let me just try and come up with. Oh, okay. So I know what this green thing means. It means that the trades, that the thing, the pick is on the block. So let me see if I can trade for this second pick from Nashville. Where are we picking? We're picking 50. Okay. So if I do 55th. And then if I do two fourths and a second for their second, let's see if they would say, yeah, actually, let's see if this would go through first. Trade rejected. Okay. So if I add the other fourth, I think they might say yes. Trade accepted. Okay, perfect. So now we have the closer second. So if we can hopefully... Uh, I'm really hoping I can I can find this guy. Let me see where is he. Where is this man? Dadanov. He's supposed to go 42nd at the earliest, hopefully. So this should this should work. Okay, so Dadanov hasn't been picked yet, guys. So that's good news. Top 6D, top nine forward, top 6D, top nine forward, top nine forward. That's pr that's perfect. That's perfect. Let's just go and pick Dadanov right away. Hopefully he's a medium elite. If he is, this would be a stud of a player. Oh, top four medium. 64 though. That's pretty good already uh, for a defenseman, 18 years old. So I think we got a pretty good player there in my opinion. So let's simulate to our next second round pick. Um, nothing too crazy from the rest of the teams. Hopefully we can find a gem or something. Pat Millen, okay, this might, that, that might be a player that I look to get. Uh, are there any gems? Just one bust. So nothing there. Let me just fix the rankings now. Okay, so this P Pat Millen, center from the U.S. National Program. Let's see how, how he did. Uh, 39 points. Low lead, though, so actually, I don't know. Rhett Reinhardt, 18, two-way defenseman, right-hander, Zaitsev, uh, lowly Nathaniel Dietz. Haas, though, Hugo Haas, okay, 70. Should I do Hugo Haas or what do you guys think? Hugo Haas or Pat Millen? I mean, I, I said I needed help on the right wing, so, I mean, this guy, I don't even have it, no idea what he is. Oh, come on. You know what, I think I'm going to go with the recommended players, see if they are right. Pat Millen, low top six four, not ideal. Okay, let's uh, simulate to user pick. The next one, I think it should be in the third, oh, fourth round. We don't have a third round pick because I think we traded it for Smith. So let me just take a look at the remaining players So of the second round. So we were looking at uh, Red Reinhardt, so top 6D. So I'm glad we got at least a low top 6 forward. Zaitsev, okay. Let's see in the third round if there are any gems. So we're looking at this Dietz guy as well. We didn't get him. Uh, Haas was a top 4D, so this guy would have been the ideal pair to get, actually. And I was actually eyeing him down, but I messed up. And then, is there anything else here? No, nothing too crazy. So let's just make our pick in the fourth round. 
Let's see who's out here. Let's see if there's anybody worth it. Jake Neighbors, no. Uh, medium elite Gabriel Horton. This might be this might this guy might be someone. 17 only. Shoots left, six feet tall. Uh, Damon Hunt. Okay, so let's just go for this Horton guy, Gabriel Horton. If he's a top four demon, that would be a, an insane. Oh my God, he's medium elite. We were able to get a defensive defenseman, medium elite, only 51 overall, but he's 17 and he's medium elite. So that's a stud of a player, guys. Holy crap! In the fourth round too, that's incredible. I don't, I don't think I've seen any. Um, oh, this other guy's really good too. 51 right winger. Zane Devo, but I was going to say, I don't think, other than those two guys, I don't think I've seen any medium elite players in the late, after the first uh, 10 players, so that's crazy that we were able to get one of them, and he's a defenseman, so that's good news here, uh, let's see who else is here, Alfred Barkland, no, top 60, this guy is basically a guaranteed top 6, uh, Albin Sunquist. Should we try this guy? Sniper. Is he a right winger? Center. Center sniper. Let's try him. Bottom six. Okay, so not ideal, but he might be able to become someone or at least even a um, a trade asset of the future that, that could turn out to be something. Um, is there anybody else that we see around here? Low top nine? No. Goalies, medium backup. Let's try this goalie, Silverthorn. Medium backup, not bad for a fourth round pick. We haven't really picked any AHL players, which is good news. Uh, let's see here. Maybe with the later round picks, might be able to try and find some of these guys here. With uh, with uh, low risk, high reward here. Hutchins. Let's see. Low elite, not bad actually. Low elite. In the fifth round, that's pretty good. Another fifth round pick. Hopefully, we can find another elite player. There's no one really useful here, so I'm gonna have to sort once again. And then Kozlov is the other guy that I was looking at. Pavel Kozlov, 18 years old. Can he be a low elite? Another low elite, so not bad. How how good is he? 51. So obviously that's why they've um, slid to the. Uh, to the fifth round, but you know what? There might be some trade assets of the future. This guy, Thomas Norkvist, top four medium. This guy could t be something. I can't believe he's been passed on for that much. Oh, medium top six. Okay, never mind. He had three bars out of four, so I was hoping he would for sure be a um, a top four demon, but I guess not. I'm tr still trying to figure out these potential things and uh, how to draft properly in this game. So let's try this Tapi Niamala guy. Why not? Or should I try? Is he a sniper? Two way forward, Gordon McLean. Let's just try him. We need a right winger. Bottom six, medium. Okay, so that didn't really work out. I don't think we'll have a seventh. Oh, we do have a seventh. Okay. So for the last one. Let's see. Should we let's just try the goalie Joseph Scratch Hard. French starter, not bad actually. For a seventh round pick. French starter. That's decent. We got a lot of picks though, actually. Hendrix Lapierre, Dadanov, Millen, Horton, Sunkvist, Silverthorne, Hutchins, Kozlov. Norkvist, McLean, and Statchard. So we got two goalies, a bunch of D-men, a couple centermen, and uh, a few wingers as well. So let's just simulate to the re-sign phase here. Let's go all the way to the contract screen. And um, I might actually start doing some negotiations here. How much does Domi want? Okay, so at least his price has gone down. Uh, he wants to come back. Yes, okay, perfect. Wait, does it say? Yeah, okay, he wants an extension. Perfect. If I offer him, would it be 8 million? Or uh, let me do 7.675 for four years, one way. 
yeah, let's just do that. 7.675 for one for four years, one way. Uh, Craig Smith, we're not going to bring back. We're definitely going to bring back, though, Noah Jolson. 1.625 for three years. So he should be replacing uh, Ben Hutton already. So I don't think I will bring Hutton back unless he wants a pay cut. No, he doesn't. So I'm going to release Smith. I'm going to release Hutton as well. Uh, Armia has gone up um, to an 80. Juleson has gone up to an 80 as well. That's good news. I think Mete is still down to a 79, though, which is very, very annoying. Uh, Olsen has gone up to a 79. He wants a real big boy contract, though, so I'm going to qualify him. We'll let. Does, is he going to want a big boy contract? Yeah, so I'm going to have to say goodbye to him. Uh, Mete is still a 79. Oh, my God, at 1.6. That's so annoying. Uh, Cousins, is he going to be wanting a one-way? So let's offer him 9.25. He did lead our team in uh, points in the AHL. So Folin, we're going to release you. You're not good enough. Taylor Lear, yeah, for sure. We're going to be... Okay, I don't understand how he wants that much money. We're going to give him $1 million for one year to prove himself. We can always play in the AHL. 77 for Charles Udon. Two-way, two-year, sure, we'll give him that. He can play with the young kids in the AHL. Weiss and Pekka, we're not even going to bother re-signing them. Riley Barber, one-year, two-way, sure. McCarron as well. One-year, two-way, 7250, perfect. Evans, for sure, we're going to bring back. Hopefully, he can, he can turn out to be someone... Uh, good. I don't know though. Veroni one year for sure. Freeberg Yelinen for sure. He is gonna be playing in the A in the AHL. I should say Cam Hillis as well. Entry level contract for those two guys. Fish demo as well. Sure, one year two way. He can play McShane. He can play as well. Some of these young guys are finally making it to the NHL, so Olofsson as well, Skrilinka, sure as well, he can, uh, he can play in our defensive core, Fairbrother, we'll give him a couple more years to, for him to grow, Dadunov as well, Ud, Ud will release, because I don't think we'll need him, uh, Hendricks Lapierre, no, I'll wait, Ikonen, no, I'll release him. Medium elite. This guy is going to be a stud, though. Gabriel Horton. Medium elite. That's crazy. So I think I've signed most of our players now. We sh we have 20, millions in 20 million in cap space, I should say. So uh, let's see in the system. Oh, in the system, they already know. Let me just go to goalies, actually. Kincaid is going to want a contract, most likely. Should I sign him for another year and wait until Primo gets better? Possibly. Uh, let me offer a contract to McNiven as well. One year, two way. And then let me actually hold off on the backup goalie and see what other backup goalies are out there. So let's just advance one day and see if anybody signs right away. So Cousins has accepted. Udon has accepted. Domi has accepted. Perfect. Veroni has accepted. Jolson rejected. Uh, he wants a little bit more money. Let's see all these guys accept. There's Demo rejected. Okay. Lear, Hillis, McShane, Olafson, Elinen. So why did why did Verge Demo reject? Uh, okay, let me go back to Jolson really quickly. 1.775. Okay. Hopefully he says yes. What's going on with Verge Demo? Where is he? What's going on? Okay, yeah. Well, he wants a one way, right? I don't know. Or two way. I don't know why he would reject that other contract. Okay, Jolson accepted. So he wants to stay. Okay, I mean, sorry. He wants to um, test the free agency market. So let's give him, let's give him 900 million or 900K. If he says no, then I'm not going to bother. Okay. 
he definitely wants to test the free agents market. Uh, let me just double check that I'm not missing anyone. And then we'll we'll move on to the next season. So, so who else? Who else? Weiss, Pekka, Freeberg, Vesh Demo. So I'm going to qualify actually Vesh Demo. Because he's a medium top nine and he can... Uh, I don't want to lose him for nothing, right? So let's just go advance a couple days. Let's just sim to actually free agency right away and see who's available. So just FYI, I've updated our trade block. That's all right. Uh, okay, all teams must be 50 contract compliance. Okay, so the big reveal here, guys, is going to be who's available. So Roman Yossi, like I predicted, is available, guys. 88 overall. That's insane. That's great news. 38 points. It's pretty good in my opinion. Braden Shen as well. Eric Gustafson. 28. Granlin Brody. If we want to go a little cheaper, we can always go for Brody. Even though he wants 6 million. Uh, Gardner also wants some money. He wants 4.7 uh and then yeah that's pretty much it i think you'll see would be would he be the best bang for a buck i don't know or maybe even taylor hall would be an insane player if he played with uh i don't know if he need a left winger to be honest Braden shen he wants 7.5 jared spurgeon wants way too much money if i'm gonna spend 7 million on jared spurgeon i might as well spend the extra two Two and a half on Roman Yossi, in my opinion. Eric Gustafson is a good player, though. Only 28. Uh, 6.925, though. That's quite a bit of money. TJ Brody wants 6.4. Uh, Sergachev wants a little bit of money. Let's see who the goalies are um, available. Matt Murray's in free agency. That's crazy. Um... Kemper, Leonard, Crawford, Howard Grice, uh, Halak, Campbell, Kincaid. So yeah, I think Kincaid, I'm, I'm going to offer Kincaid a, a chance to come back. 82, and he had a pretty decent season. So, I mean, he has two teams already chasing him. So, I might have to overpay a little bit, but think we have the funds to um yeah we have 12 million dollars in cap space so we have definitely the funds to sign a backup goalie here uh and then yeah potentially roman yossi or if we don't want to go that much then we can go for this guy here tj brody but uh actually yeah tj brody has simulated pretty decent 43 points so might be a player that i get he is 30, same age as same age as Yossi. Yeah, let's see. Or Gustafson. How good to go? Oh, Gustafson would be a player, actually. Gustafson. Let's see. Which teams? No teams are interested other than Detroit. So if I offer him 7.250 for four years. It takes him until he's 32. Quite a bit of an overpayment, but we definitely need help um, in the back end here. And he definitely plays. Did he not play power play? Wow. He has no power play points at all. Um, but he. Is this real? Did he actually have. Did Eric Gustafson actually have 60 points in real life? Let me look this up, guys, because this is insane if you actually did. Wow, he did have 60 points. Wow, that's incredible. He's definitely a late bloomer, but yeah, like I said, uh, he didn't have any power play goals, though. Did he even play on the power play? Can I even look at that? Uh, let me see, let me see. I don't think he did. I mean, I can't tell, but if he had that, that many points and didn't play on the power play, that's incredible. That's pretty remarkable. Yeah, he had eight power play points, so this guy definitely did play on the power play, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I think if I if I give Gustafson a couple, maybe a million more, then I can assure him, 
I can be sure that he's going to be, uh, what's it called, in our team, and he's going to stay at 85. I don't know if Brody will stay at 85 because he's already 30. So that's a couple questions that we need to ask. I think my top three picks are, you'll see, uh, Eric Gustafson and TJ Brody. I think I'm not looking at anybody else, really, in my opinion. I think the rest of these guys are not worth it. Maybe to Foley, but he's only an 82, and he's already 28. He's gone down a lot. Uh, so probably not. Um, Chris Kreider, though, pretty decent for his value. How much money does he want? He only wants one year, so Chris Kreider might be a player that we look to get just for the second line for now. Uh, no team is interested in him. We can give him a four-year contract, but that can be after. Um, let me see, though, here. Um, let me just take a quick look and see who the best potential players are. So this Gurianov guy, we don't know if he is going to be low lead for sure, but he is on RFA. I mean, I think he's still with Dallas, but we can still offer something uh let's see okay the max contract for Gurianov. let's see if they would accept that anthony declare mm, 82 no timishov 23 why why don't we just sign some of these players to play in the ahl if worse comes to worst uh so yeah no picks hopefully he signs with us who else who else <clears throat> Ginning here. I don't think he was signed, so let's just sign him. Ginning, uh, Montour, 26. He's still on RFA, I believe. John Merrill. Okay, okay. All right. So I think that's it. But you let me know, guys, uh, who you think I should sign. I'm thinking maybe Kreider and then one of... Um, sorry, let me just go back to overall. And one of Yossi... Uh, Gustafson or Brody and then Kincaid obviously as a backup so you let me know who you think I should sign and uh, I will read your comments if there are any and uh, hopefully that's why I'm saying leave your comments so we can make this series more interactive and uh, I can listen to you guys suggestions so yeah for this episode I'm just going to do the draft because I want to hear what you guys want to say or have to say I should say and um yeah, I'll, I'll read your comments in the next episode if any of you leave comments, and I will be reading them live in the video. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Take it easy.